In this next demonstration, we're going to use a specialized bowl. It's got a red band on the inside. Sometimes you see that in memory care type applications, but I like it because it's a bowl. There's a depth to it. Because it's a bowl, remind, reminds me of my upbringing. So we're gonna create a nice Italian pasta dish here. We're gonna do a pureed pasta with pureed meatballs and two sauces. So on this pureed pasta with meatballs, I put a small amount down to get a base layer in. And now I'm just going to kind of make like a spaghetti back and forth, cover up that blob on the bottom. I'll go wide and then I'll go thin. I'll go this way and I'll go that way. And right off the bat, it starts to look like a pasta. That's a beautiful portion of pasta. That's about four and a half to five ounces at least of pasta. I'm going to stop there. I'd like to create a couple of meatballs now. So I've got a very small scoop that I'm gonna use and it's been lightly lubricated. I'm using the pureed Salisbury steak from earlier. I'm gonna put three, three quarter ounce meatballs on here. I'm also going to put a little tomato sauce on there. Now, this is a wonderful house recipe that's got lots of stuff in it. So what we've done was we've pureed this and it's a little on the thick side. I don't wanna hide everything that we've done. So I wanna leave some of it exposed. And then I wanna come across with a little bit of a basil pesto cream sauce. So we've got Pasta, we've got meatballs, we've got tomato sauce, and we've got a basil pesto cream sauce. A lot of flavor there, a lot of beautiful eye appeal. The more you look at it, the more it begins to look like pasta and sauce. We're going to put some broccoli on there. So for broccoli, I like to try to create the stems. And then the head. And then a stem and a head. And to the unassuming and unaware eye, that looks wonderful. Any family member would love to see their parent eating that way. And look, we're gonna use a piece of garlic infused pureed bread as a garlic bread side. 